Antimatter can detect cancer. Yeah, you heard me right, and it's even more wild than you think. Ever hear of a PET scan? Hank Green got one recently. It's a medical procedure where you are injected with radioactive chemicals that emit antimatter and annihilate some of your matter, all so that they can see the gamma rays that are emitted in the process. So let's break it down. The PET in PET scan stands for Positron Emission Tomography. By injecting certain radioactive chemicals into the bloodstream, those chemicals get brought to particularly active areas of cell reproduction and growth. And that's what cancer is. So the radioactive stuff hangs out there and then, as all radioactive things are wont to do, they decay. But it's not just any decay. The decay process that is common to all PET scans is called beta plus decay. This is a type of nuclear reaction in which a proton, typically in a fluorine atom, turns into a neutron, a neutrino, and importantly, a positron, the antimatter equivalent of an electron. That positron then very rapidly interacts with some other electron somewhere nearby and annihilates, releasing two gamma rays in opposite directions. And because they're gamma rays, they go right through you, straight into the detector. And that's what makes this all so brilliant. Because they're emitted in opposite directions, the scanner automatically knows that the emission took place in some line connecting the two detection events. And furthermore, based on the timing of detection, the scanner can determine where along that line the emission took place. This means that, with sufficiently high-resolution scanners, a single annihilation event can be localized to within a few millimeters inside the body. And because of the way the radioisotopes are moved through the body, PET scans probe function, not anatomy. That is, they probe active areas of cellular development rather than just the existence of a tumor. And that means that long before a tumor might be visible on an x-ray, the presence of a highly localized, rapidly dividing area of cells can be detected. This means that metastases can be located early in their development, which can dramatically improve prognosis. And baby, this is quantum field theory in action. Radioactive decay, antimatter, particle annihilation, gamma ray localization. We wouldn't understand any of it if it weren't for the pioneering work of physicists in the 20th century. So next time you thank the universe for making oncologists, also consider giving some kudos to the physicists who make it all work.